Mm -hmm. I would never eat a plate that look like that. Mm. That is low vibrations. That's a good red plate. This word to you. You put these two plates together, they're going to say this word to you. You're right. Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. And in today's video, um, we're going to be discussing a few things, y'all. A few things. But the first thing we're going to get into is how people were saying that Cardi B's party was boring. Um, They said it was boring. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, y'all. And, you know, everybody was there from, you know, um, DDG, Halle Bailey, Chloe Bailey, Danny Lay. Shensia was there, Coco Jones was there, um, Gorilla Girl was there, um, who else was there? It was a lot of people there, okay? A lot of people were there. She even had a fake me out Marilyn Monroe um, at the party because I guess the theme was in the 1920s or whatever. But hey, that was the party, okay? And then y'all listen, okay? Somebody who was actually there said the party was boring, okay? And if somebody who was actually there said the party was boring, that means the party was boring. All right, and it looked boring. Like it looked kind of, you know, I don't know, dry. Like we had Cardi B standing up, dancing and singing, and everybody else was just standing up, still looking kind of stiff and bored. I don't know. That could be just me, but in my opinion, the party looked boring as well. Like, it looks, I don't know, it looks look boring. But here is what the person who said it was boring had to say about it. Okay, y'all. So Anthony Uncensored said, "I am Cardi B. Party was boring as f. Get a new PR. She deserved better. I left after one hour. She looked amazing though." And then the caption said, "Hit me up when you want to have a real party, mamas." At Cardi B, disputing my outfit at Wells Fargo. Hit me up. <laughs> I hate she got weirdo working for her because they don't give a f about her reputation. Y'all have y'all opinion. I have mine. Who? Because I'm Team Cardi. Oh, well. So, yes, he said it was boring. And the reason why I believe him was because Anthony was actually there, okay? Now, if somebody who was not there and were just looking at videos and said, okay, okay, this is boring, it would not have that much weight on it as somebody who was there. And do y'all think that the party looked boring? I don't know. It kind of looked dry. I mean, I guess Cardi B looked decent or whatever. And, you know, the theme was kind of good. But, you know, it just kind of looked boring. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe, I don't know. What do y'all think? I mean, I guess everybody, you know, just looked good and had a good time. And I guess the vibes were right, I'm guessing. But overall, the party was boring. And they did not let Jamie Foxx in the party. Like, how you did not let Jamie Foxx get into your party? First of all, Jamie Foxx is an icon, a legend in this industry. Something that Cardi B is not. So the fact that they did not let even let Jamie Foxx get in. Like, do you not know who Jamie Foxx is? Like, how, like what and allegedly they said jamie fox had too many people to even enter into the um party room but you need to be having enough room at your parties for so many people to get invited to you made an entire public story post about your party you made an entire instagram post about your party you need to go ahead and make sure there's enough room to you know comply with that much amount of people but that's just my opinion. I think it's crazy how they did not let Jamie Foxx get into the party. Jamie Foxx? Please. Like, Jamie Foxx? Like, I don't know. I just find it a bit weird. But then you have people like Tiffany Haddish are able to get into the party. Um, I'm not going to speak too much on that because, you know, I guess her case is quote unquote dropped. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that. Okay, I'm not getting into that. But I don't know. I just kind of find it weird how Jamie Foxx was not invited into the party but let, you know what let's go ahead and move on because i'm about to get annoyed all right y'all so this next topic is about how um Nicki minaj is supposed to be getting um allegedly a Fortnite collaboration a Fortnite brand deal now for those of you who are not familiar with what Fortnite does and what Fortnite is Fortnite is a gaming um platform and you know typically they have events for artists they have had events for travis scott ariana grande and they basically have like an a live you know concert game that people can play on video games so you can join in on your um playstation 5 and you know play the game and you're going to be able to watch the concert for whatever artist is on the screen and that you know been saying that Nicki minaj collaboration may be in the works for fortnite so i think that would be good 
Let me tell you why I think that would be good, okay? This will be good because Nicki Minaj would have a lot more um, promotion for whenever she drops her album um, or whenever she drops her next single, okay? And um, Fortnite typically does this when an artist has had a recent project come out. Um, for example, when Ariana Grande did her Fortnite event, she had just dropped an album. So, you know, doing these events will help, you know, promote the album or the single, you know what I'm saying, to get it some more sales, more streams, and all that type of stuff, okay? And the bag is pretty big, okay? Fortnite is a big, big game. So that Fortnite money is going to be huge. I'm sure it's like multi-million dollars um, in order to have that collab with these artists. And it's just really, 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 really big to be able to get a Fortnite deal. But yes, y'all, tell me how y'all feel about that, all right? How do y'all feel about that? I feel like that is a big, big deal. Like, you cannot tell me it's not. And, you know, I definitely feel like it may be coming soon. It may be coming soon. I don't know, but I think next year, but definitely soon, okay? Okay, y'all, so this next topic is nothing too serious, but I just want to say how glad I am to see, you know what I'm saying, Nicki Minaj, and, you know, the people who that she collaborates with, you know, continuing to show love and all that type of stuff. So Spice came over to Nicki's house, and they, you know what I'm saying, were seen together, linked up, linked up, and, you know what I'm saying, they kind of took, they did a little video, um, they posted some little, you know, video of them lip syncing to the song, the Fine Nine remix, um, and yes, um, I really was like okay i see y'all i see y'all and then it was um showing love on social media spice was just you know showing love nikki was like this was all in the middle of the night we were so tired like we were just you know we were just tired talking and just vibing out and i feel like that is so good because you know to see nikki and to see spice collabing and having a good relationship it's just like it's amazing like seeing the queen of dance hall and seeing the queen of rap collabing and just linking up was just so cool um something that i found interesting was how they had to be quiet when they were talking because they did not want to wake up papa bear <laughs> that was funny but um yeah now how do y'all feel about the spice and Nicki minaj link up i've been seeing people say that that spice and Nicki minaj need to have their own song together they were saying that the fine nine remix was good but they want to have a, a Nicki minaj and spice separate music um, the queen of dance hall and the queen of rap on one track how would y'all feel about that or do y'all feel like the fine nine remix was enough or would y'all actually be here for a Nicki minaj and spice um only collab with just them two on the track how would y'all feel about that um put that down in the comment section below because i want to know your opinions because that was a little bit of the, of the debate we were having on twitter the other day like okay well nikki should have did a song with your spice um and you know outside of the fine nine remix and then bia was in the comment she said nikki i could come over and do a little dance pundits and then nikki was like yes child, you know you're welcome in the palace anytime so you know i just love to see the girls showing nikki love and nikki minaj showing them love back because you know and they always like to make it seem that nikki minaj is bitter about you know women and how she's just so mean and nasty but that's not that's not even the case okay that's not the case at all and uh yeah now that is all i have for you in today's video uh be sure to leave those opinions down in the comment section below uh like and subscribe and tap the bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you so so much i appreciate it